Hello everyone, this is Hunter Collector here with another Action Figure Review, and here we have the G.I. Joe Classified Series Alvin Breaker uh, Kibby with the uh, Ram Cycle. So let's go over to packaging first. So first we get the Cobra Island logo here, G.I. Joe Classified Series Alvin Breaker Kibby with the uh, Ram Cycle. Get that picture there with him, the bike. Here is the side art of him. Here is the back with the Cobra Island, which... Um, yeah, it just shows Cobra Island with all these like landmarks here. You get like a hangar here, and then you get a bridge here, and then some other area here, and then Cobra Island. Here's the other side with the GI Joe symbols there. Twenty nine figure in this uh, collection, and then here's the top with the GI Joe star logo, and then twenty nine, and then here is the bottom with the DCPI. But besides that, let's crack them open. And here is Alvin Breaker out of the package here. So let's go over the accessories. So first we get his helmet here with this nice cool visors here with this like teal and then goes into purple. And then you get this like camouflage green here for the helmet. You get this earpiece here with the mic. And then that kind of just goes around. You get this really nice sculpting here. It's kind of a soft plastic, but it's kind of hard to squish. So and it should be able to fit on his head. I'll just show you what it looks like with that on real quick. So it should be able to slide on there, and he looks pretty good with it. Fits on him pretty well. So, yeah. And then we'll go over the figure here in a second after we go over the rest. And then you get this, like, piece here, which I have no idea what it's for. I think... Oh, I do know what it's for now. So, this is kind of like a... So, this goes onto the bike here. And I guess what you would do... Grab this, and I'm guessing put it in like that. And then you get, like, this piece here that is supposed to like keep on the floor there and then this turret here you can also take out you got a handle here you get the barrels here and you get some pigs there but you don't get any blast effects get a hand a handle there for him to hold on to and then yeah i really like the look of this turret it's really cool and then like i said so you just put the grip there in that spot and then you grab this piece and just kind of clip that right on and then that's what it should look like and then yeah and then you still get the handle there so you can use that if you want and you get some details in there you get usa and then you get this other symbol there which i can't tell what it is 36 it looks like and then like i said you get the wheel there and then that's all we really got for accessories and then we'll go over to bike i'll just put that on there but here is the bike so you get the lights there, you get the white and gray, you get the tires, which are rubber, and you get the gray rims there. You get the exhaust there, and you get the other rear uh, wheels there. You get the motor going on, you get some gray detailing there. And you get the pegs there, here's the other side, which with a little bit more detailing there. And then you get the G.I. Joe symbol there. You get the star across with the big 1027, which actually what's funny is that that's the number. I think that was used for the uh, this event that's going on for Hasbro, where they have like a members only event going on. And they revealed some other figures. And then here you get like the speedometer and um, the fuel and stuff like that. And then you get the grips here with the brakes. Really nice sculpting for it. And then here's the other side with that same star there. You get the flag there, 36. And then you get this blue sign here that kind of looks like a castle. You get the um, tail lights there. So yeah. And then to put, them, put this thing on, this is what it would look like. If I can do that. I think it just kind of sits there. It barely actually goes in. Yeah. I guess you don't put it in all the way. It just kind of sits there like that. And then you can kind of use that as a way to keep it balanced too. Instead of having to have this kickstand here, which I also forgot to show off. You can articulate that. And then if you don't have this on there, well, then you would probably use the kickstand to keep them on there. But yeah, that's the bike there for you with all the accessories on that. And then here is Alvin Breaker without the helmet on. So you get the nice brown here that is kind of slicked back. You get the beard. The facial paint is really good. 
and the sculpt looks decent. I don't know what he looks like in the series or whatever. And then he's, he has military, military gear here, um, with this like black strap going around for his vest. Get some pouches. You get the camouflage looking green here for his shirt. And then you get that collar there with some sculpting there. And then get some elbow pads. You get a watch for him. You get a little bit of paint splotch in there. You get the black gloves for him. Gun holding hands. It looks like he's got knuckle protectors there. Knuckle guards. Same thing going on here except he doesn't have a watch. And then you get that camouflage green going on here. You get the sculpted belt there. I wish they painted that. And you get the black knee pads. You get this really nice texturing going on with the pants though. You got the butt pockets. And you get these cool boots. They're black. You get the laces sculpted in there. You get like a buckle around there too. So yeah. And then we'll go over the articulation next. So he has a disc ball joint. So you can look down that far. You look up that far. His neck also articulates. So you can move that around. Uh, so you can get him to look down just a little bit further, look up quite a bit, and then left and right movement. Uh, a little bit of head pivoting there. Shoulders can move out that far. 360 rotation there. He has like a very low butterfly joint there. Bicep swivel, double jointed elbows. Wrists can hinge uh, side to side vertically, or horizontally, I mean. And then uh, 360 rotation there. He would have an ab crunch, but the vest just gets in the way so you can't really do that he does have a ball joint at the hips though so he can go down just that far like none still a uh, little side to side motion you get a little bit of twisting there but i don't you don't want to do 360 otherwise the little piece in there it'll crack and break so yeah be careful about that he does have the drop down hips so you can move those down get the kick out farther do the splits if you want kick them out that far Kick backwards just a little bit, thigh cut, double jointed knees, and you get a boot cut. Uh, there we go, boot cut, ankle scans down that far, up that far, nice ankle pivot. And here is Alvin Breaker on the bike here. So yeah, you also get peg, pegs on the bottom of the feet there. I didn't show you guys that. I wonder if I can get an ankle. See, there's the peg there. You also got peg holes on the feet there. It's not lined up with this one, but this one's way better because I can actually see it. Um, so yeah, and then also the wheels can turn too with the handles, so that way it actually looks like he's turning while you're doing that, so that's pretty cool, and I would like that, so yeah, that is Alvin Breaker, um, I really like the motorcycle, and I love this turret idea, um, like you could take it out and just have him use it as an actual minigun that you can carry on, or make it into an attachment onto the bike, um, so I think that was a really cool idea. I like the decoration uh, deco on the motorcycle. I think Alvin Breaker looks pretty cool too. Uh, even though there's not quite a whole lot going on with him. It's like a generic army figure, I feel like. Except the helmet looks really cool. I really like the helmet. Um, but yeah, I, I really like this figure quite a bit, actually. Uh, they are in Target right now. So if you want to get them, you can. Um, I suggest you can get, get them. I would suggest getting them, I mean... Um, just because I think they'll run out at some point and it'll be worth a lot. Um, but I really like this bike and the turret and this figure. So, uh, yeah, but besides that, I, that's all I really got to say is really cool looking figure, uh, especially on the bike. Um, but besides that, that's all I got. So make sure you guys check out my link tree in the description. It has my, uh, TikTok, Twitch, Instagram, and Twitter if you guys want to help support me on those too. But besides that, thanks for watching.